So this is the behind the scenes of the, the giant tree, uh, checking out the, the wire foo, basically. So to start with, the, the big part is the, uh, the sign. So this is Corbu, of course. That's, that's my name. Um, and yeah, this, this took a long, long time to build. So the, the top part, it starts with a downward uh, switch, vertical switch. Um, so it's basically a lever and then alternating layers of, um, or alternating redstone torches. Uh, so that lets you transfer a charge downward. Um, if you're transferring a charge upward, you can just stack torches one after another, one above another. Um, but to do downward, you have to alternate them like this. So, got my switch up there. Hmm, somehow a mob got in here. It's no good. Oops, that is. Oh, I guess the center of my cloud pool is pretty dark. But, no matter. <clears throat> so, we've got the, the torches going down. The switch goes down, down, down. Snakes around, you can see it under me here. And I put it in my, um, it's inside the trunk of the tree, so we're inside the trunk right now. Um, so I've got my little six by six elevator shaft, and then you can see the alternating downward vertical wire here. Um, so let's, let's actually take the ladder this time. You can see it going down. I'll give you a better sense of how that works. Um, and like I mentioned before about upward, upward switches, um, so this is an upward switch I built to open a door to activate the elevator. Um, once the, the door water bug is fixed, that will work. Um, so yeah, so this wire keeps going down and out. I'll, uh, woo. Um, I'll, I'll stop for a second and show you how the uh, wiring for my, my boathouse works. Uh, so the boathouse, pretty simple, um, two door switch, but I actually have two levers. I also have one out in the water over there so I can open and close the, the boathouse doors from, from the ocean. So when I'm out for a, out exploring, looking for clay, I can, you know, open the doors, bring the boat back into the slip, and close the doors again. So, this is a pretty basic, I think it's called an XOR uh, circuit. So I, I just looked this up online and, and built it here. So this is the XOR part of it, and then this, this part here is just a little um, splitter uh, to go to the two doors. So this this goes under the boathouse to one door, and then this wire goes to the other door. Um, and then the the two switches. So XOR uh, circuits let you have two switches. Um, so one uh, is here. This is the inside one, which you can see just right through the stone there. Um, and then the other the other switch, the wire runs way far away, um, and it, it goes to uh, the switch out in the, the water. And that was a real trick to build, actually. Let me, let me just look at that, show you that. Um, it's all enclosed. I can't open it up. But the, the basic part is, is a, it's a switch that steps down. Um, so you can see I, I needed to have two blocks above the water like this. Um, oops. So, you know, when I'm in my boat, I can open it with the switch. So if you imagine there's a, a redstone wire under here and it steps down and this is the little conduit for it and then it goes into the boathouse and connects up to that XOR circuit. Um, so there you go, that's, that's the boathouse. Uh, that was my first real circuit attempt and, and I thought it was pretty amazing and I couldn't believe it actually worked. So, all right, but anyway, back to the big gratuitous uh, advertisement sign. So, <clears throat> we had the, the, 
the wire going down the trunk, going down the tree, so it comes out of the trunk here. This is, you can see, a little splash of water. So we'll follow it along. This goes way out into the, the country where I wrote. Ah, you can hear the monster sign. The sun must be out. All right. Here we go. So, this is it. This spells out Corbu, C-O-R-B-U. Um, of course, the outside version is right above this. Uh, and there's no tricky circuitry going on here. It's just, it's just the current coming from the tree, and it gets split and split and split and split and comes to each one of these. So this was way, way more difficult than I thought it would be. I would really just not attempt or suggest anyone try and write like this. Um, it, look, it took a ridiculous amount of time. Um, so, basically, to get all of the, the wires to light at once, all of the, the torches to light at once, um, they all have to be getting the same charge. And that's complicated by the fact that, obviously, you can't have wires next to each other, so you can't just simply wire each one of these um, in parallel. So, consequently, um, there are, I think, up to maybe six levels of torches. So at every level, I, I wire a couple. So this is the main level, and I've wired you know, one here on this O, and another one on the other side of the O, and so yeah, just two, it looks like, for, for this entire level. Um, and part of that is due to the, the spacing of the letter being two apart. I can't run wires between them very easily. Um, so that definitely complicated things. But for the size of the, the letter I wanted, and I didn't want them spaced too far apart, so um, this was my only option. So, yeah, as you can see, the next level, I peel off another one here. I've got a, a circuit for, for a power four. There's probably one or two on the other side. And then the rest have to go down another level. So it just keeps going down and down, and at every level I'm powering more and more until... I get to the bottom. So the O apparently has one, two, three, four, four layers of, of torches. Um, and, you know, getting all of these to, to be the same phase um, to, to get the wires just not to interfere, not to short out, um, it, there was a lot of sectional playing around. There's, there's quite a lot of of uh, wires running all throughout this. Um, and just a million splitters where I'll power one torch and then get three wires off of that to power three torches. So um, I probably have, I don't even know, probably 40 of these of these little splitters. I mean, you can see there's one there, there's one there, uh, there's one there, and there's just lots of them underground. Oops. Um, so yeah, like I said, the circuitry isn't comp complicated. There's there's nothing really to it. It's just getting all of the wires um, to not interfere with each other. And uh, yeah, it it took forever. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Um, don't attempt it. Uh, there's a little secret door out. I hid hid this little foxhole by this tree. Um, anyone knows their their war history. So anyway, yeah, here we are. This is uh, this is what it looks like from the top. Um, the switch is up in the tree. I suppose I could pretty easily wire some more around. That would be helpful. Um, so I could just flip it on and off for you here. It's actually fun to watch up close because you can see much much more clearly the different uh, timing. They don't all come on at once. Um, they'll kind of come on in chunks. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. Um, don't try this at home. You'll really go crazy. And uh, yeah, see ya.